टू एवरी वन एवरी वन नोज स्टोरी राइटिंग इज एन आर्ट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू हाईलाइट एंड इनकलकेट इन यू दिस आर्ट सो टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट स्टोरी राइटिंग हाउ टू राइट अ स्टोरी फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू वट इज अ स्टोरी स्टोरी राइटिंग इज एन आर्ट In fact, it is the oldest of all literary forms. Anyone can tell a story, write a story. With a little care and planning, you can tell a story effectively. So, a short story deals with one incident that is at the center. It is this incident which is used to explore a character, to analyze human relationship, or to illustrate an idea. For writing a story, a writer means a story writer must possess certain qualities. So, what are those qualities? A story writer must possess fertile imagination. Next thing, he should have command over the language. Next, keen insight into the workings of human mind is required for an effective story writer. next he must be creative he has ability to create word pictures so that his story is interesting and attractive for readers now i am going to tell you elements of story writing you may say features as well or structure of a story writing now features of a good story a good story has a beginning middle and end that comes under plot so features of story writing include plot order proportion characters setting theme dialogues and conclusion of that story but don't deny and don't forget to give a suitable title to your story now let me tell you in elaboration the features of the story first comes our plot plot has logical development a suitable beginning a middle and a satisfying ending it is a complete whole the transition from one stage to the next is not abrupt or sudden but smooth and natural next thing is that plot refers for the logical development right so the beginning how we begin a story is very important the beginning should catch the attention of readers and urge them to read on while the middle part of the plot narrates the action the event should be in order right in the middle part then comes our order order means the events which comes under the plot that should be in sequence in order they have a systematic order right you should order orderly relate the events that have to make up the story in order of time in which they occur they will provide coherence and unity to the plot of story next come proportion in order to sustain the interest of the readers you must differentiate between the important and less important points you should expand the main points but we should ignore the irrelevant details then comes the most important point characters of your story the characters of the story must be life like and convincing they should be active they should not look like puppets in the hands of the story writer they should be believable each character must have individuality with some distinctive features which distinguish that character from other but each character should behave in a natural manner then comes our theme that is the main idea of our story on which the story is based setting we can't deny setting also setting in setting comes our locality and the place to which the characters of that story belong in 
in order to make the story real and convincing you have to describe the locality in a brief way and the place to which the characters belong so the background of the events that take place in the story should be made clear in some way so environment or setting plays important part in our story theme i told you that is the central idea of your story dialogues a story has an appropriate quantity of direct speech and reported speech indirect speech the use of direct speech helps to avoid monotony and boredom it gives fresh life in the story so character reveal their nature and temperament attitude of life through dialogues so dialogues must be real so the character of in a story should be made to converse with one another in both the speech ending conclusion a story must have a natural and definite ending it should end naturally not just stop abruptly it should give the feeling of completion and satisfaction so our conclusion must be natural and definite now how to develop a good story effective story through this point you must have a clear idea of the plot of the story before you begin to write it means before writing the story you must weave a plot of the story plan the whole story jot down the main points and follow the given outline whatever given in your in your question either the picture or the outline or the beginning so weave your plot of the story according to that plot the whole story after that after reading the question then you have to arrange that plot sequence of events in a proper order so begin the story without beating about the bush a long introduction spoils the charm of the story before that you have to provide a suitable heading to your story so your first thing is that you have to read the question then you have to plot the whole of the story in your mind arrange them in sequence before writing you have to think about the suitable heading then jot down that suitable heading on that piece of paper on which you are going to write that story then you have to start with the beginning the beginning should be attractive do not spoil the charm but be careful you have to use simple language in your story the language is simple but it must be understood by the readers be consistent in the tense used use the tense properly avoid mixing up of tenses remember that most of the outlines of the story are given in the present tense but the stories are written in the past tense unless it is stated otherwise unless it is stated by the person who is giving you the question so use simple and idiomatic language the sentence linkers help in continuity and coherence avoid repetition use simple language but avoid repetition of the same word especially the word than we use now than these words most probably invent the names of the character and the incidents according to the background of the story to relate to relate that story so characters must be real when will be they real when they are belonging to the background of the story for example an indian setting should have indian characters and english uh, setting should have english characters then it will be more real make the conclusion surprising but the element of surprise should be natural so the conclusion of the story is as important as its beginning the whole story must be made to lead up to the ending naturally the end should not be abrupt nor should it come as too much of surprise it should be real can't deny the fact that it should be surprising but it should be real as well 
now at the end the main thing is that you have to give the proper moral to the story most of the story are interesting they teach us something they have some moral give the moral at the end of the story it is usually a proverb or a quotation that sums up the story right so this is the way to develop to weave a story here i have an example in front of you you have been provided with certain outlines of a story and what you have to do using these outlines using these clues you have to weave a story so first as i told you just have a look have a reading of these outlines of the story then weave a story plot you have to plot a story then arrange them in sequence choose appropriate characters use the perfect tense whatever you want to use according to the story mostly the stories are written in past tense then you have to place the, all the events in sequence but before jotting down you have to give the appropriate title to the story so here i had given the title the fox and the crow according to the characters of the story i choose that title now outlines of the story a crow finds a piece of cheese flies to a tree a hungry fox these all are given as hints now when i joined them i used past tense as i told you so once a crow saw a piece of cheese he lifted the piece in its beak and flew to a nearby tree a hungry fox was wandering here and there in search of food suddenly he saw the crow and the piece of cheese his mouth watered he wanted to have it means that piece of cheese he was cunning he began to think of a plan plan soon he hit upon a plan to trick the crow he said to the crow you are beautiful bird your wings are so attractive means he flattered him your voice must be very sweet would you please sing me a song the foolish crow didn't understand the trick he became glad to hear his praise he opened his mouth to sing his piece of cheese fell down and the cunning fox picked that piece of cheese and ran away so what is the moral that we get from the story of fox and crow be aware of flatterers right so here i have an example for you the fox and the crow story along with the question i hope all of you enjoyed the story and understood the concept of the story i will come back soon with my new video till then like and subscribe my channel thank you